Hi, uh, really quick. Um, I wanted to say that I just hit 20,000 subscribers. And I wanted to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I've said this many times before, and I'll say it again now. You guys are amazing. I truly mean that. The support you guys give is out of this world, and I hope I can keep giving you guys content that you enjoy. But, um... Yeah, anyways, I just wanted to thank you guys really quick before the video started, because you guys are worth it. Okay, so, yeah, enjoy the video. All right, take care. Thank you so much. This video is brought to you by videos that are brought to you by stuff. These videos have to get here somehow. <laughs> huh? Hello, everybody. Hope you are doing great. And thank you for spending time out of your day checking out these videos. Rain or shine, you always come to support me. Today, I wanted to check out Rosie's older videos, specifically the my drawing came to life mini movie series she made. A time before the music freaks. I gotta check this out. So without further ado, let's check this out together, guys. But before we start, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe because that would mean the world to me. And don't forget to subscribe to Rosie's channel if you never have before since these are her videos. And every time someone subscribes to her, I get to eat one peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mmm. Love these. Hey, it's like Xander and Luke! All right. Let's begin. Oh, we're back in school. I wonder if this is the same place the music freaks are at. Oh, it's not voice acted? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's redo that. I'm gonna see if I can voice act the lines. Okay, redo. For as long as I can remember, I love to draw. My father is an artist, and from a young age, I would sit with him and imitate him hoping that I could be as great as him. In school, all I do is draw, or at least doodle. Mrs. Paper and Mr. Pen are my friends. My only friends. As you can tell, I'm a loner. I don't really fit in with my classmates. They're extremely outgoing and I'm shy. Today I turn 15. Not that anybody here seems to know that, but that's okay, because I can enjoy it alone with Haru. Hey, that's a nice drawing. That looks realistic in this world, right? <laughs> it looks just like the other characters. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're in for. There she is, the birthday girl. Look who's come to visit. Grandma, happy birthday, bro. <laughs> Why'd I make her sound like that? Sound like Master Roshi. <laughs> Happy birthday, pumpkin. I have a small gift for you. Thanks, Gran. Oh, geez, that's small? That's a big pencil. You could stab someone with that. <laughs> it's a pencil. It's not just any pencil. It's a magical pencil. Mom, she's not 10 anymore. She won't believe in magic. Oh, hush, Andrew. You tell him. This pencil is special. How so? Well, the man in the shop said, when you're feeling lonely... Go on. This pencil will bring your drawings to life and keep you company. Okay, Grandma. I prepared a small buffet in the kitchen. Let's all go and eat. Twelve seconds later. Bye, Grandma. So, did your classmates wish you a happy birthday? Dad, my classmates don't know I exist. Why didn't you do what I told you yesterday? 
You should have gone to the front of the class and told them. <laughs> Darling, she... I don't care! I don't want anyone to know! So you want to be friendless for another year? I don't need friends! Leave me alone! Ooh, some drama going on here. <laughs> Why won't my dad just leave me alone? I can't help it that I'm shy. I'm okay being alone. I want to be alone. I used to be shy when I was younger. It was hard to make friends. I, I only had like a select few, but yeah, I can kind of relate to this. And I used to draw too. I actually made some Sonic drawings a lot when I was younger. I used to make some comics. Things would be so different if you were alive, Haruki. I wouldn't need anybody else. I didn't mean to raise my voice. I'm only concerned about her. I know, but you can't force her out of her comfort zone. That is true. Life is confusing for a teenager, but she can manage on her own. It's been a long day. Let's go to bed. And you can talk to her in the morning. Yeah? Yeah. Why am I making up sound like that? <laughs> Why does the bed feel so cramped? Like, oh my god, there's someone sleeping next to me! How much did I drink last night? <laughs> Thank you, I did not want to scream there. Hey, shut up! What oh, is he speaking Japanese? Well, 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 what do you want with me? It's me, Haruki! Haruki? Haruki? What? Please don't say anything! Jessica, what's wrong? Uh, I... Sorry. My, um, alarm clock frightened me. Your alarm clock frightened you? Yeah, sorry. I, I didn't mean to scream so loud. Well, as long as you're okay. We'll have breakfast ready soon. Are they gone? Uh, you can come out. Wow. You look exactly like Haruki. I don't understand English, idiot. Oh, you speak Japanese. Well, I sure don't. She like drew him to speak Japanese only. That is interesting. I should have drew my Sonic characters like that. They only speak Japanese. Are you really Haruki? What are you saying? Just make me speak English already. What are you saying? <laughs> Here, write down Haruki can speak English. Huh? English! Oh, English! <laughs> Finally! Why'd you only make me speak Japanese? You don't even speak it! Good question. She's just staring blankly at him. <laughs> don't freak out, okay? I know this is weird, but... I'm your... Oh, see. You drew me last night, right? Because of that, I'm alive. But... How? The pencil? It's magic. I felt myself come to life as you sketched me, and I woke up next to you where you left your sketchbook. <laughs> She's so confused. Uh, are you okay? This can't be real. I'm dreaming. Hello? Can I hug you? What? Sorry, I, I've just always wanted to be able to hug you. Right, if she did, then she'd probably crumble up her paper. <laughs> Get all wrinkly. And now you're before my eyes, and... I don't want to wake up from this dream. Oh, that's cute. Wow, you feel so real. This dream is so realistic. And you smell like lavender. That's because it isn't a dream. Ow! You're really real? I'm really real. Whoa, 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 don't cry. My wish came true. Jess, you'll be late for school. Come and eat breakfast. Uh, okay, Mom. I have to get ready for school. But what will you do? I can't let my mom and dad see you. I could sneak out the bedroom window and come to school with you. Come to school with me? But you don't even go there. I can enroll. Look, I need to get ready. I'm getting changed in the bathroom and having breakfast quickly. We'll talk about this situation later. Later. Uh, where's he gone? Oh... I was going crazy. Of course he wasn't real. Yo, Mr. B! You won't believe what happened to me this morning. So I had my maths homework all finished in my bag, and then this humongous duck came up to me and stole my backpack. Mm-hmm. 
And what's tomorrow's excuse? You accidentally fed it to the ducks in the park? <laughs> Why am I giving it that voice? I'm telling the truth! Come on! Sit down, Mr. Austin. Hey, is that like a early version of Xander right there? Oh, man. The early prototype for Xander. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Class, we have an exchange student who will be staying with us for a week. Haruki? Hi, my name is Haruki. I like Takayaki and the color red. Nice to meet you. He's cute. What a weird introduction. Wow, I wrote those facts about him in the column of the sketch page. So everything I write about him becomes true. There is an empty seat near the back. Yo. I can't believe you're here. I told you to wait in my bedroom. Ah, oh, I thought you'd be. Hey. Sorry, it's just... I can't believe you're real. Maybe I'm still dreaming. You're not. Don't worry. From now on, you won't be lonely. Wait, how did you even know where my school was? Well, you left your school books lying around and I followed a group of girls this way. You know, you know everything there is to know about me, but I don't know anything about you. Oh, right. Um, I'm Jessica, but you can call me Jess. Nice to meet you, Jess. So who do you normally hang... Hello, sorry to interrupt. We just wanted to meet you. <laughs> oh, hi. Where are you from? Japan. No offense, but you don't look very Japanese. Well, that's because I'm like an anime character. Like you guys. <laughs> wow. How do you so cool? Just like I dreamed him to be. He draws people in and makes friends instantly. Unlike me. Jessica's my best friend. How do you know each other? Uh, I... We're pen pals. We've met a few times when... I'd come to visit England with my parents. And this year, I decided to visit for a week. I didn't know she talked to other people. Let alone have a friend. You know nothing about her. So back off. Whoa, sorry, dude. She just doesn't talk to anyone here. I didn't mean anything by it. Haru, it's okay. It's true. Well, that's a shame. Because Jess is the coolest person I know. You haven't met anyone else since this morning. You should have lunch with us. Jessica can come as well. All right. Is that okay, Jess? Uh, yes. Wow, I never imagined having lunch with Stephanie. She's so cool. I don't think she's ever acknowledged my existence before. <laughs> You're so funny, Haru. Isn't he funny, Clara? You're such a shameless flirt, Steph. Oh, shut up. Do you have a girlfriend, Haruki? No, I haven't known a girl long enough to even think about it. Oh, that's a shame. You have plenty of options if you stayed here permanently. What do I say? I'm so uninteresting. Maybe I should just keep quiet. You know, I'm surprised Jessica hasn't dated anyone. I'm sure lots of guys would be interested in her. What? Really? I mean, no offense, Jessica. But most of the time, I forget you're in the classroom. You're basically invisible. Apologize. What? Why? How would you like it if someone treated you like you were invisible? It's true, though. Let's go, Jess. What the hell? Haru is a weirdo. What's with his obsession with Jessica anyway? There's nothing interesting about her. Someone's jealous. You shouldn't have said anything. You shouldn't let people talk down on you like that. It doesn't matter. People don't talk to me anyway, so it doesn't happen regularly. Don't you have friends? No, it's fine, really. You don't need to worry about me. I'm more concerned about you right now. Why, you're alive. And if this is permanent, we'll figure out something after class. I wonder if there's going to be an episode where they go to the magic shop or something. I wonder if there's like other items they have there they can use. <laughs> I still can't believe my OC is sitting right next to me. Does Granny know about the pencil? How do you think Grandpa was made? <laughs> Ooh, gotcha crafts. Gotcha crafts. I think I've seen that place in town. I have to find out about this pencil. Shall we go? There's somewhere we have to go. Hey, where are we going? Sweet, so they are going to the place. Nice. What is this place? Where my grandma bought the magic pencil from. Welcome here to buy art supplies for school. 
He looks stoned, <laughs> or he's probably tired, but that's the voice that came out for him. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to ask about this pencil. Oh, I see. And this boy must be your work of art. You have talent. So you know about this pencil? How it brought Howdy to life? Indeed, but it only answers those who are in desperate need of something. You are in desperate need for... A boyfriend? No! Stop teasing her. Oh, and a protective one. I cannot tell you all of my secrets, but know this. The magic only lasts for one week. Then your friend will revert back to a sketch. That is interesting information. One week? I, I don't want to live for just one. Okay, thank you. Come again. <laughs> and he just vanishes? Wonder why more people don't go to the store. He, he just... Did, did he just... Go inside that book? Yep. I'm going crazy! I must be going crazy! Hey, look at me. I've only got seven days here to be with you. And I want to make the most of it. Let's go home? Okay. Wait, how do I tell my parents? Just introduce me as your friend. Does this mean I get to eat with your family? Oh man, food is amazing! I like this guy already. <laughs> um, hi mom. Welcome back, Doc. Andrew! <laughs> what? Yes, welcome back. <laughs> These random moments uh, are pretty funny. <laughs> this is my uh, friend. Hi, I'm Haru. Nice to meet you. And this is my stomach. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. W would you like to stay for dinner, Haru? What? Ooh, that's gotta hurt. We're having mac and cheese. Ooh, I love mac and cheese. Sounds delicious. Ooh, I want some mac and cheese right now. This is so good. Help yourself to more in the kitchen. I will. I'll be right back. <laughs> so, Haru, you go to school with my daughter. Uh-oh. He's giving the dad talk. Yes, starting today, actually. I won't be here for long. I'm an exchange student for one week. I see. So, where are you staying? Actually, I don't have a place yet. I haven't found one. You mean you didn't look for a place before you arrived? Something like that. Well, we do have a spare room. You're suggesting... You're more than welcome to stay with us. Really? Wow, th thank you so much. Well, that was easier than I expected. This is because of yesterday, isn't it? What? I pushed you to make friends, and you brought a random boy over. He isn't a random boy, Dad, and you told me to make a friend. I meant a girlfriend or someone to talk to in class. I know you're 15 now, but you're too young for dating. We're not! I've only just met him today! Why do you always have to be disappointed in me? Jess! I'll go and talk to her. Jess? He's so controlling! Always telling me what I should and shouldn't do! He won't just leave me alone! Well, if I had a daughter who brought around a boy to stay for a week, I'd be a little concerned. It's because he cares. I know. But he just doesn't understand. He found it easy to make friends in school. So you find it hard to make friends? I've always found it hard. I've always been the shy kid. Everyone else is confident and interesting. But when I have a chance to speak, I just freeze up. I feel like I'm not interesting enough. Or they'll dislike me. I'm suited to be alone. Well, I haven't met many people in my life yet, but you're just as interesting if not more. You can draw, can't you? Well, it's just a hobby. But something to talk about. I couldn't talk about my drawings. They find my character drawings weird. You think I'm weird? No, 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 but... Lots of people would find your art interesting. You just gotta meet the right people. Besides... I'm your friend, right? Yeah. <laughs> I 
I have to help Jess make friends in the short time I have left. That was the best fry up I've ever had! Your dad's cooking is the best. I can't believe he had three servings. What the heck's up with that duck? <laughs> Give it back, you stupid duck! All right, so it was real what he was talking about. It wasn't BS. How do you do the rescue? <laughs> Funny sound effects. <laughs> what kind of duck is this? This doesn't belong to you, strange pun animal. Goodbye. <laughs> I believe this is yours. Wow, you're so cool. I mean, thanks, dude. You don't know how much that duck has been terrorizing me. You're in our class, right? Hey, I'm Peter. Hey, for saving my homework back there, let me treat you both at lunch. Sweet! Oh, you don't have to treat me. I didn't do anything. I don't mind. Wow, he's so generous. Good morning. So you finally bothered to do your homework, Peter. I always do my homework. Sit down. <laughs> Funny. Oh, she's by herself. I want to sit next to her. Haru? Why is he with Melody? Hey Jess, mind if Melody sits with us for lunch? Not at all. Hi Jess, so Haruki tells me you can draw? I make up these voices on the spot. <laughs> Haruki! Sorry. Melody's in my art class. I'm looking for someone who can draw. So are you good? Um, I'm not really that good at it, but uh, I'm okay. She's amazing. Look at these sketches she did in class. What? Where did you get those? Whoa, these are pretty good. You have talent, Jess. Thanks. Would you be interested in designing the cover of an album I'm working on? I don't have much money, but I'll give you what I can. Um, that's okay. I mean, yes. I'll design a cover for you, but you don't have to give me anything. Really? I'll pay you back, I promise. Let me show you how I've envisioned it. Uh, okay. Yo, guys! I got you these as promised! Yay! I promise to work on your album cover over the weekend, Melody. Aw, really? Thanks, Jess! Are you gonna let me come over and listen to your album yet? I said not yet! I'll let you all know when I'm finished. I look forward to it, Shorty. Who are you calling Shorty, Shorty? You're like the same height. <laughs> Ouch! Well, have a good weekend, guys! See you Monday! See ya! Bye. Let's go. Those two are pretty cool, don't you think, Jess? Yeah, today was a lot of fun, thanks to you. Ah, oh, we all had fun together. So are you gonna work on Melody's album cover over the weekend? Yes, I wanna have it done for Monday. Two days later. Oh my god, this is better than I imagined it to be! Thank you, Jess. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you liked it. Yo, what's going on? Hey, Peter, come look. Sure. Whoa, you did that, Jessica? It's amazing. Ugh, double P.E. Music for me. See you guys at lunch. I'm so glad she liked it. I was, I was so nervous. Are you kidding? Of course she liked it. These past few days have been amazing. Peter and Melody are so funny and kind. Haruki is who made it possible for me to come out of my shell. Even though he's just a drawing, I feel like we have something special. But he only has one day left. I don't want to say goodbye. He only has one day left? I thought this was gonna, like, like the next, like, uh, parts were gonna be, like, the next couple of days or something. Wow, what's... Then I don't know what to expect. Psst. Hey. <laughs> nice. God, that class is boring. I hate English. Hey, did you see Jessica next to Haruki smiling throughout class? Creeped me out. I don't understand why Haru is so obsessed with someone like her. I bet Melody and Peter only hang out with her because of him. Soon he'll be going back to Japan and she'll be all by herself again. Oh. Oh my God! What bitches! Hey, Melody's invited us to her house tomorrow to listen to her new album. Want to go? What's the point? Just what's wrong? They're not my friends. I'm just going to be alone once you're gone. Of 
course they're your friends. I want to make sure you're not lonely. No, I don't need anybody else. Jessica! Hey, Haru. Not right now. Oh, don't think about her. Come hang out with us and- I'm not interested in hanging out with people like you. You're shallow and conceited. What? Hey, I'm sorry if I upset you. I'll see you at dinner. Shame you. <clears throat> All this voice acting makes me thirsty. Shame you'll be leaving soon. Yeah. I wish I wasn't. I've had so much fun with Jess. I was under the impression you both had a fight. She won't come to hang out with a few other friends from school tomorrow. I don't think she realizes how amazing she is and that people would want to be her friend. I owe you an apology, Haru. I've been a bit harsh on you. I'm very protective of my daughter and I don't want to see her hurt. I understand. I don't want her to be hurt either. I'm sure you can make her come around to the idea of hanging out with friends. I can tell she likes you a lot. Oh, she heard all of it. Hmm. Next scene we have... Ooh. Jess! I want to go. Really? <laughs> That's how they hug, huh? Adorable. Hey guys! Yo, Haru! Oh, you decided to come, Jess? Thank you for inviting me. Let's go! All right, let's dance. Ooh, and pizza. Hmm. I had no idea how bubbly you were, Jess. Well, I don't open up to people very easily. <laughs> Hanging out with you guys this week has been the best. I can't believe you're leaving tomorrow, Haru. I wish I didn't have to go. But I'm happy knowing you guys will still hang out together, right? Of course. I'm not letting my little artist get away that easily. <laughs> nice group of friends. Thank you for having me. This has been the most amazing experience. Come back and visit again, won't you? Safe travels, kid. See you later. Hey, Jess. Yeah, Dad? I'm proud of you. Have a good day, sweetie. Thanks, Dad. Bye. So this is it, huh? Man, I don't do well with goodbyes. It was nice meeting you, Haru. Thanks for the best week of my entire life, guys. Even if it has been my entire life. I hope we can meet again. Group hug! Hmm. <laughs> That's nice. See you, Haru. Safe travels, dude. See you guys. Jess, let's go up to the roof. I'd like to say goodbye in privacy. Jess, I... I don't want you to go. Because of you, I made real friends for the first time. I had the best week of my life. I'm scared it will all go. Don't worry, Jess. You don't need me to be yourself. You'll be fine. Do you have the sketchbook? Thanks. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Wait! Oh, a kiss. A gotcha kiss. Jess. Sorry, I just always wanted to do that. Well, you did make me irresistible. You're one of a kind, Jess. Don't let anyone make you feel otherwise. Keep sketching me, okay? I will. Hmm. Oh, nice. Hey, Jess. Let's go grab some lunch. Sure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Hey, the end. That was awesome. Oh, Rosie, so that's how you looked. Nice. 
I'm from the future, Rosie. See you in the music, freaks. <laughs> that was cute. That was pretty interesting. That was amazing. Awesome work there. This was really sweet and fun to watch. I love the idea of making art and having it come to life. I have no idea what the next part is about, but I'm definitely curious. You did a wonderful job here, Rosie. And I'm sure with the amount of views it has, you already know that. <laughs> I'll be checking out the next part soon and hope to see you there. So, thanks for watching. You're amazing. And I'll see you next time.